This is a video on how to change the keyboard on a HP 15. Remove 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 screws. Then take the DVD drive out. Of course, take the battery out too. Next, use one of these tools and pry out all the way on the edges to lift up the top panel. Use one of these tools to pry open the edges like this, just to loosen them all the way around. That's it. Laptop, remove these plastic covers to reveal two more screws. And gently lift up the laptop. Oh, lift up the back lid gently. Notice there are three, one, two, three, one, two, three little plastic notches in it to push in to allow the lid to open. Remove the hard drive. There is one, two, three screws and this ribbon cable. Dislodge one of these and it's actually glued to the bottom. So be very gentle. Just gently lift up the glue area with the, uh, with the um, hard drive together. Just gently lift the hard drive out of its position. Don't damage the ribbon cable and gently pull it out. That's it. Remove the DVD drive connector and one screw here. Remove the USB port, one screw over here and the ribbon cable there. Use glue, just be gentle. Remove the speaker cable. Remove the <coughs> LED indicators here. Remove the keyboard connector. Remove the RAM memory module. Remove the Wi Fi module. Remove the DC jack cable and the LCD cable. Peel this tape off. Fan cable, remove this ribbon. Remove one and two screws. The motherboard, remove one. <coughs> two. <coughs> three. Four. And five screws. <coughs> and the motherboard will lift off. To get to the keyboard, you will need to remove this metal backplate. And I don't know why HP has done this, now I hate them even more. 
So start in one corner, start lifting it up and breaking off these small plastic bits. So go all the way around and then lift it up. Make sure to get all these ribbon cables stuck out of it. Nothing's on it. Okay. I finally managed to take it off with a little bit of bending, but that can easily be fixed. And that's our beloved keyboard right there. That's it there. And we're going to replace with our one here, which also you will need to peel this part off of your new keyboard. So it's flush straight down. Otherwise, the connector is won't match perfectly on the keyboard, on the motherboard. And that's pretty much it. And just reverse the process, and it shouldn't be that hard. This may just lift up. If not, yeah, so this has all these little notches as well. Oh, it's so annoying. You'll need to break this off as well. Have fun putting it back.